So, I wanted to try something different. Well, not exactly, but usually I made a video with me talking about some topics, but it's kind of hard for me to talk with specific topics in English since I have no idea what's happening in the world, so I'm kind of out of touch with the majority of people in the internet so I guess this time I will just casually talking about the process of this drawing so this was a drawing from back then I don't remember what year it is oh there it is it's 2017 this one is commissioned by Kogath the god of monster hunter back then <laughs> so he asked me to draw some monster hunter crossover with power rangers so there are monster rangers and there are monster zords i believe it's gamoth glavinus devil joe diablos and Berioth. oh and also pink ration so this is how I work. I start with rough, rough sketches. I'm slowly building the monster sword sketch. It was fun. It's really the most fun part when I'm drawing is this face, the rough sketch face. It's just really fun and loose not too much pressure because I could do it roughly and not clean but it looks okay okay I finished the sketches so I continue to do the line art on the line art page usually it's more time consuming and energy consuming because I had to patiently doing the lines so it will be neat and clean man even talking about the drawing process is really tough <laughs> I don't know how other people do it maybe I'm just not in the groove yet so yeah Usually when I do line art, I just follow the sketch because usually the sketch is already uh, what do I say? Um, the sketch is already what? <laughs> I think maybe the word I'm looking for is clear. Yeah, maybe. So it's kind of fun to see the Black Ranger is Gamoth and Gamoth is a female so I made the Ranger female The Green Ranger of course is the Mighty Devil Joe And it's tough <laughs> I can I kept thinking what do I say what do I say but it just I have no idea what to say this is the pink Russian Ranger so this crossover is uh, using the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers design mixed with monster from monster hunter i don't understand why monster hunter haven't do collaboration with power rangers or super sentai yet i think it would really fun because 
What? Well, Monster Hunter is a four-player game, and I think wearing four ranger suit, oh armor. <laughs> yeah, using armor collaboration with Power Rangers would be fun. So, because there are no legit collaboration, there are mods there for Monster Hunter World in PC, but it just, I don't know, it it doesn't feel right. It would be way cooler if they made an official collaboration. Maybe it's just too expensive doing collaboration with Power Rangers or Super, Super Sentai? I have no idea. But I bet there are a lot of Monster Hunter player out there who wish the same. Okay, this is the coloring phase already. Well, because I haven't do the monster lines yet. So I usually do the foreground characters and then the background characters later if there are a lot of character in one artwork coloring is also a really fun phase for me since it's pretty much just putting shadows and highlights and it's fun it's not really that complicated like doing line arts it's funny because line art is basically just tracing the sketches but I don't know it it, feel, it feels really hard for me to do line art so yeah coloring is fun maybe there maybe that's why there are coloring books <laughs> and there are no lining art book <laughs> okay doing the smokes and yeah the cool smokes effects on tokusatsu films action films okay start to lining the monster sword started with gamoth basically I'm just doing some robotic version of the monsters it doesn't really have some uh, how do I say it? like hmm like like <laughs> I'm out of words here so but what I want to say is it's not really based from the Power Rangers Megazord it's just a robotic version of the monsters so with some sharp edges like robotic robotic parts yeah it was fun Also, maybe Capcom should do some monster from Power Rangers collaboration like The Witcher and uh, Final Fantasy collaboration in Monster Hunter World so we could fight giant monsters from Power Rangers <laughs> it might be kinda silly or maybe there is a siege mission like uh, Zora Magdaros where a giant Power Rangers monster is attacking the village or a city and we help Power Rangers <laughs> to hunt down the monsters <laughs> it really sounds Pretty silly but I want to play it okay we arrive at Glavenus here I think 
this is one of the most cool monster sword I draw. Speaking of cleverness, I still waiting for the rest of the Elite Four to be in Monster Hunter World. But I think maybe the I don't know. Like it's weird to add quote uh what do i want to say i think it's weird to add new monster on monster hunter world iceborne adding a weak monster after there are elder dragons like alatreon so it might be a new monster hunter game or new expansion with a higher rank than master rank maybe there will be finally g rank after master i don't know it's just <laughs> weird thinking but we can really know what's happening in the world okay lining the final monster resort here pink rathian It's kind of fun to fight Pink Ration, Pink Rathian at the start of the high rank back then in Monster Hunter World because yeah, Pink Pink Rathian is kind of kind of kind of what? <laughs> okay, coloring the background, adding some thunder adding some shine to the thunder and started to color the gamut adding color is really fast compared to doing the lines I hate doing lines I wish I could just color after I do the sketch but I can't help but feel I want to clean the lines so I do line art Adding the shading on a gamma, it's looking good. I wish I got more uh, crossover commission like this because it's really fun to create something. Yeah, it's not exactly new, but yeah, something new from two different series. Okay, it's, I just realized this, but it's kind of weird for the Yellow Ranger have this Diablo sword without really a yellow color. <laughs> it's more like a brown or gold ranger. Or maybe did I made the Diablo ranger with gold color? I can remember. Oh no, I made it a yellow ranger, but with gold colored Diablo sword weird <laughs> Devil Joe being Devil Joe the boss of everything the drawing is almost complete at this phase it's just some shading and highlights because the fun art's done the base color done just need to add some shading to bury off Levinus, Devil Joe, and Pink Rathian. Speaking of barriers, fighting barriers the first time on Iceborne was kind of tough because it's a new feeling with the Monster Hunter World mechanics, but with the Clutch Claw, it's become really easy. Because when the first time I played Iceborne, I wasn't really familiar with the Clutch Claw, so I rarely smashed the monster to the wall, and it just made the fight tougher and took longer than it should. Because I was pretty bad, <laughs> but at least I managed to fi finish the game 
with my bad hunting skill. Okay, just a little bit left, just devil joy and pin ration. So this is a really fun commission. Thanks for thanks to Kogat for commissioning this piece of artwork because it's I just can't believe there's some point in my life where there there will be a, a person who would spend their money to order a monster hunter cross power rangers which the two of them is my favorite series ever okay just a little bit left just shading pink ration and adding highlights and adjusting colors and it's almost finished and it's finished it was a really really fun commission work thanks again for Kogath for commissioning me this was one of the best artwork I've ever done in my opinion okay thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to support me and my channel and don't forget to be a good person see you on the next video bye bye